Okay, I'm super excited to open up my Stitch Fix. Um, this is my third box that I've gotten. And I, I don't know, Stitch Fix it has been kind of hit and miss for me. So I'm looking forward to trying to find um, a box, a subscription clothing box, that can kind of be a staple for me where I can uh, rely on it. And uh, between Wantable, Trunk Club, and Stitch Fix, those are the three that I do right now. Um, you know, I keep going back and forth because n none of them have really been, uh, you know, hit it out of the ballpark yet where I bought and wanted to buy all the items. So I, I usually end up with just one uh, in each of the boxes. So I'm excited to see what I get. All right, so with Stitch Fix, it is the same as the other subscription boxes. You get your clothes uh, sent to you after you complete a profile online uh, on their website, and then you get the clothes uh, shipped to you. And with Stitch Fix, you have three days to review the items and then return them uh, in the prepaid postage that is included. So I do like that. Okay, let's see what I got. Oh, uh, first, first time I've gotten shoes or boots or whatever they might be from Stitch Fix. So it's a cute little bag. So I'm excited uh, to see what those are. I'll open those last. Um, I'm a little antsy. Uh, okay, so then you get your little pamphlet that's uh, addressed to you. And this is the sheet that has all the prices and uh, specifics about each of the clothing items. And then you get a what Stitch Fix does, it sends you a little card and I won't look at it very close. But it sends you a card that describes, you know, how you can put some of the clothing items together with even, uh, you know, previous fixes that they sent you, pr previous items that you kept, and they try to add on so you can continue to, you know, complete your wardrobe. So I, that's kind of cute. Okay, so we'll get those items out of the way. And then I have a kind of a sp small bundle this time because this was a small box. Okay, so there's my little bundle. It's pretty small. Um, you know, but I'm liking the colors. Uh, you know, I've got a gray, it looks like a gray at the bottom. Uh, you know, a hunter green and then two black. And I love black and I like the other ones too. So let's see what they are. Okay, the first item. Oh, okay. If you guys can see it. It's got some uh, zippers that are on the bottom on each side and this is called a uh, pink clover sorrel zipper detail knit top okay I you know what I actually can see me wearing this over some leggings or even over jeans um, so I'm kind of pleasantly surprised by that one. Oh, she provided me some leggings I was complaining that my leggings were looking a little old and oh, these are Spanx. Um, obviously, I've heard of Spanx for um, you know tummy control undergarments, but I've not. I did not realize they came in leggings. So I'm I'm kind of excited about that. So these are Spanx Alicia leggings. Hey, I, I'll take that because I can use the control. Uh, all right, then we've got a uh, Pixley uh, Simon Relax Henley Utility Knit Top. I like the color. I, I definitely like the color. I like the pockets. I like the detail. It's, you know, it's a little more relaxed weekend vibe. I could probably wear it to work on Fridays. Um, you know, it's a little bit more casual. Uh, so, yeah, I, I can see you pairing these with these leggings for sure. That's cool. And then lastly, it looks like a sweater, a gray sweater with this um, interesting neckline. I don't know what that's called. And you guys can kind of see. Okay, let's see what it is. <clears throat> it's a Kenzie gray sweater. Um, you know, at first glance, I did not like the neckline, uh, and it looks a little short, and I'm not sure, I mean, it feels nice and comfy, I guess. Uh, I don't mind the pattern, but the neckline, I don't like things around my neck, so I don't know. Not sure about this one. This one I'll have to try on for sure. 
So, okay. And then lastly, uh, let's get back to my boots. I think they're boots, at least they look like they are. Okay, if I can get in here. Seriously. I'm never going to find out. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, they are boots all right. Okay, so they're at least, my worry with these is that I have um, pretty thick calves and I rarely can wear boots because they never fit uh, on, around my calf, the width of my calf. Um, and I love seeing people wear different kind of taller boots, but I can never wear them. Uh, so these actually do have a little stretch to them, a little give, and then they have this little uh, detail coming out of the back, and then the zipper is up here. And they're, you know, a good size chunk heel. So these are kind of cute. I can picture these with, uh, obviously, the gray sweater, but I think I could probably even wear them with the green uh, shirt as well. So, uh, you know what? Um, we'll see. We'll see if these fit. So overall, I'm kind of excited with my picks. They're uh, kind of basic items that I've been hoping to get in my closet for a while. So this stylist definitely did kind of read through my notes and picked out a few items uh, that hopefully I can keep. But obviously, I got to try them on. So I'm going to go do the try on and show you guys what I um, think of these items. Now to the green top. This is called the Pixley Simone Relaxed Henley Knit Top, and that was $58. And while I do like the color uh, quite a bit, and I like the pockets and the buttons, I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, the buttons, I w you know, I'm a little bit larger uh, busted, so I could see through these quite easily, so I definitely have to wear a tank underneath. And I don't love a lot of layers, um, so I'm not sure. I'm going to have to think about this one and probably try it on again. Okay, and now for the, the Spanx, the Spanx leggings. Um, I liked these. They are really light feeling, and man, do they help with control. They, they really do help smooth out any little, um, you know, blemishes you might have or anything that looks a little off, and these are $98. So I heard that Spanx was expensive. I've never bought anything from that brand Um and they do feel and look a lot like leggings that you wear to the gym. So I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to have to really think about it. But the fact that they did some really nice uh, damage control <laughs> on, on kind of keeping everything in that you want uh, in, I, I'm going to have to really consider these. So with the black shirt, this was called Pink Clover uh, Sorrel Zipper Detail Knit Top. And that came at $44. Now, I really liked the zippers uh, and how they you could open them a little and give yourself a little bit more room around your hips. So this is definitely something that I'm going to consider keeping because it was a good length. Um, it wasn't tight where I wouldn't like it. And so I'll, I'm going to definitely consider keeping this one. Okay, and then lastly is the uh, gray sweater with this odd um, half neck, mock neck, or whatever you call it. Um, I didn't like it. I, I kind of knew I wouldn't. Uh, the color's fine, but it was quite tight on me, as you probably could see, and the neck did not help flatter me at all. Uh, so, and I couldn't stand it. It would drive me nuts. I, I definitely need necks that are more open. Uh, so this one was a Kenzie um, pullover, plaid pullover at $68. I'll definitely be returning this one. Okay, so these boots, uh, I was super happy that they actually fit. Uh, that's such a rare find for me. So uh, my stylist did a really nice job. The only um, downside is that these are Sam Edelman footwear and $160. Um, I'm not, you know, adverse to paying that price for a really good boot, especially when they fit. I just, you know, I live in Minnesota, and this is something that, I, you have to be really careful on wearing out and about outside due to the snow and, um, you know, sand uh, mix that's on all our roads and sidewalks and such uh, and salt, you know. And this is something I probably wouldn't wear that often, so do I want to, you know, pay $160?
Well, you know, that's it. Those were all my items for this month's uh, Stitch Fix box. So, you know, thank you guys for watching. As always, make sure to hit that like button if you liked the video, and then subscribe. Uh, I'll continue to keep making more of these videos. Uh, I love subscription boxes, and they're very addictive. So, you know, make sure to subscribe to the channel to see more of them.